nyenito amisha kanzimbe o yune kala amwe kale we mwana ola andwa nini matona kwesi mondo ama ambise niki mwana kenini la na endi lo biko manda we kwa ina ngali mbinge mono ngili mbinge sia andwa kwa e ebuso esio mono mundu umwe ni wambatie pandu ndona ukwata uya pate faasa na muzi wa ilobi just like this young man today mishak was told to take some food to people in the forest nearby was someone about to make tea there was something odd about the utensils then he was told to go further into the forest and tell the men it was time to come back he thought he was approaching a poacher's camp until to his astonishment he saw men and baby elephants around a fire where are their mothers are they going to come rushing out of the forest he only knew elephants as being dangerous they killed people but nobody was afraid then to his astonishment one of the men walked towards a rhino but nothing happened the rhino just walked away this was a very strange place he wasn't sure he should stay he did stay and as a result his life changed and he came to understand animals in a way he never imagined was possible these baby elephants have lost their mothers and just like with us humans if nobody cared for them they'd die You may think it's crazy to say they are like humans. He soon became aware that they were always watching him and gave the impression they knew more about him than he did about them. Just look at that eye. There's a place in some Buru district called Ilengwezi. This young warrior is a kind person. He found a baby elephant which had fallen into this ditch. Instead of killing it, he arranged for it to be handed to the Kenya Wildlife Service, and it was then flown to the David Sheldrick Wildlife Trust near Nairobi. That is where Mishak works. He's an elephant keeper. At only a few days old, her back foot hardly measures up to a man's hand. Makosa is a baby rhino. They tried their best, but it was no good. Livon died in the end. It was like losing a child, whatever you may think. Family. Many orphaned elephants over the years have been integrated into wild herds. Has she already worked out these calves have no real families except their human friends? Is she judging them, watching that they are doing things right? The gradual process of instilling into each orphan that wild elephants and not their human friends are their real family takes several years. She and Ndumi came in 11 years ago. It's so hard to believe she's gone. It's very touching to see the way they trust their keepers so completely. Aitong has always been a bit unpredictable from the time she was hit on the head before she came in. Now she seems to want to hurt the new arrivals, but Emily keeps her away from them. Mishak knows Aitong will come again. Everyone knew the older resident orphans would be excited at the appearance of so many new calves. But the elephants know the keepers so well and will not hurt them on purpose. Some of the family members are more excitable than others. That's all. Like people, elephants can survive on their own, but choose not to because they just like being together. These lifelong bonds extend beyond a single family to a number of related families. and here in Savu to the orphaned elephants